Okay, hello guys, welcome to Vainglory Seed and uh, I am MKC000. So today is uh, the third week of Seed already, so uh, it's also the first match of round of 32. And uh, casting with me today is Rock, so I'll put him on now. Yeah, Rock, say hi. La, 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 la. As usual. <laughs> Okay, so uh, yeah, it's still a best of one match, and uh, of course, the first match today will be between Outlaws Imperial and Element C Inferno. Okay, nice. <laughs> and on the blue side, we'll see Outlaw Imperial, and for the red side, you'll see Element Z Inferno. Yep, and uh. I'm streaming after a while guys, so if there's any problem with the audio and stuff, uh, let me know in the chat and I will do something about it. Mm, the first ban is Taka. So, the opponent will ban Lyra of Vox, leaving the other one open. Yep. Ooh, they did. <laughs> they banned the sky so that they can have either choice. Yeah, so... Uh... Yeah, that's kind of normal because normally people ban Taka to get Sky. Hmm, quite practical. Oh, they be picking up the cash screen. No, they pick up the Lyra. Yep, the Whoa. Lyra is of course picked up. I am, I'm not sure if they will go for the Vox here, Element Z. Yes, they did. <laughs> Sounds so retarded suddenly. <laughs> okay, so Finn and Vox chosen. So, uh, as from what I know, Catherine and Finn are the most picked heroes for support actually in this match. Whoa, seems like we have a lion Lyra. Yep, and uh, we have a Bursty Com from Imperial side uh, with a Lyra, you know, with the uh, first skill and Blade can just burst the enemy down as well. Swap heroes. Whoa, why did they even pick like uh, Alpha? Wait, why did they even pick Alpha? I'm did they sure. not know that like Lyra yeah. counters Alpha to the max with a B skill? Yeah, I feel like Lyra does counter Alpha a lot. Because when uh, Lyra uses the bar to walk, uh, when Alpha is inside, Alpha can't cast the A or B. Yeah, so it'll be a very big disadvantage, especially if it's a crystal Alpha. Yep. So, uh, on the blue side, once again, it's Outlaws Imperial. On the red side, it is Element C Inferno. And uh, in case you guys don't know, I am MKC000 and we have Rock with me to cast today. <coughs> yeah, I'm wearing cast now. <laughs> okay, sorry for the lameness. <laughs> now Finn is very low health. Ooh. Now Alpha is being chased by the miss the Spartan. Spartan. Yeah, so uh Okay, so now we can see a fight breaking out in the jungle. Will Alpha be going down or will Glaive be going down? Seems like they managed to pick up Alpha before it managed to be food. Damn. What a waste. Glaive was so low health. Let 
me just check on the stream for a while. Sorry, guys. <laughs> okay. So now I will be alone, cussing and annoying all of your years. <laughs> no lie. It's okay. Okay. So now I will be alone, cussing. Hmm, will there be a fight in the jungle or the lake? Looks like there's no fight in the jungle. Hmm. Oh, and the fight broke out in the lane, Vox just went down the basic attack from Catri Manage to cut a kill. Okay, I really hope that the stream, there won't be any problem with the stream from now on. So, uh, yeah, let's go back to the game. Yeah. Very, very fun. Current kid is 2 is to 0, where our loss of the real first 2 kills. Oh, and Finn managed to caught that Tetrin from the brush with the base kill. Well, meanwhile, we can see that although Outlaw Imperial has 2 kills in advantage, but Mining has begun. for Element Z, we still have 400 gold leads. Yep, 2 kills uh, in the early game doesn't really matter to me. Uh, and as long as you farm better uh, in farm wise, you can actually lead a uh, small gold lead in the early game. Well, you can see most of the time uh, Alpha is farming all the way. And uh, what we see is actually a weapon Alpha and a CP box. Yep. Amber, is the stream okay? Amber, can you tell me if, if the stream is okay? Uh, on my side, it looks fine. Okay, so there's some fight going on in the jungle base, going on to the Finn first. Oh, the Finn is so low, Finn just went down. Nice afterburn from Mr. Spark. They ought to be retreating, they are in a very dangerous position. Yep. Oh, the termination protocol almost pick up the blade. Will the resident be able to pick up the blade? Oh, nice synergy coming out from Element Z Inferno. Will they be uh, getting that ace? Just a little bit more. Oh, and it hit. And was that the ace? I don't oh, think there's an ace, oh, there's but uh, the skull trap almost got the alpha there. Oh my god. I would say Grave is a little bit unlucky there. Wow, uh, <laughs> alpha was too lucky. Hmm. Oh, he shoot. Yeah. I would say if you can't burst down um, Alpha after you kill him when he has a team, the Infinite Reboot, it kind of make it a 4v3. Well, it, you know, that may be true. Because especially when um, the Reboot is used, right, you can actually store more time. Oh, while we are talking about that, so they managed to pick up Vox and pushing it so quickly. Well, now you can see Alpha is picking up as much farm in the lane. Continue extending the goal lead. Oh, by another nice hundred gold. gold Whoa, nice gold mine collected. Now they are. Uh, Ahead 
in terms of the gold. Both Romans just pick up the fountain of renewal. Yep, and uh, the Lyra has gotten the AC. That's yep, what same most as Lyra box. do. Oh, kind of interesting. Now that I realize, Ketchum was having protected contract all the while. <laughs> oh, not yeah. a very common item. It's not what we normally see, but uh, do you get to see her use it though? Um, maybe because I never saw that item just now, I didn't really realize it. I was wondering why just now there was that little shield, I mean that white hell over there. Yeah, I guess that's why. That was oh, a, a lot of first damage from the afterburn and the uh, oh twisted stroke from Blade there, along with uh, the basic attack from Lyra. The force was just taking out super fast. Yeah, the solo so Blade really hits that power strike over there. It's so scary to versus Blade now. Now the fight breaks out in the lane, they are in a disadvantage. Nice Akin passage from Lyra escaping for safety. Yep, Akin passage there just got Lyra to safety. Hmm. Let's see. Nine minutes into the game and both turret is still pretty healthy. And the only item, uh, rather damage item on Alpha is breaking point though. So uh, it might take a little longer to stack, you know, without a bone saw or any solo blade. <coughs> thing. Yep. Oh, sorry for the call from there. Oh, Lyra just had the bad I mean Alpha. Dissemination protocol is that timely way be able to pick up Ketchin. Almost pick up Ketchin over there. Hmm. Now after the reboot, it seems like Alpha is, is on the chase to kill the opponent. Oh, there's so many fights going on. Will they be getting the A this time around? Yep. Yep, they actually split up though, but uh. I would say Element Z played very wisely there. They leave, uh, they actually left Alpha to 1v2. Catherine and Lyra, who are already very low. And uh, Glade couldn't take out Fox and Dean at the same time, so uh, they end up winning uh, an ace. Going for the gold mine now. Well, I really hope the stream don't go off later halfway. <laughs> Please, I'm training very hard. <laughs> Now we can see 1k gold lead in favor of Inferno. Yeah, but um, it's still a very even game. Anything can happen. It's not yep. a very big goal lead at the moment. Damn, Fury bought something that is not so common now, which is the Storm Guard banner. Yeah, maybe it would be better for, you know, Finn to grab like a... Uh, if you want to go for a damage item, maybe Shatter Glass. Or even after shot, it's a better choice. Hmm. We might not know because they might. They are very pro players. They might have set up certain team common. Yeah, Box that's true too. Low. But uh, I just felt that you know, storm guard might be better for heroes with a little bit uh, more attack speed now. Especially if you want to upgrade it to a storm crown. Oh, I see the Catherine using the Protector Concrete a few times, but it was not very time wisely. Okay. Uh, seems like both sides are not having a fight anytime soon. Let's see. I'd say that in Outlaw, oh my god, just when I was about to get the vision control, now there's a fight breakout and as usual, Vox got melted. The 
that was a good afterburn there from Mr. Sparta. So the Fox was actually using the boots to run back to safety into the tower, but the afterburn just managed to caught him out and push back. Fox. And the Fox are caught damage to grab Delira. I was just busted down. Busted down. Is that such a word? Burst down. <laughs> <laughs> Burst down, friend. We bastard. Busted down. <laughs> Oh, that afterburn very nicely timed. Yeah, the like reflex block was a bit late. This grave is very good with the afterburn. Yep. Seems like both sides are kind of scared of the weapon power hero who is casting both sides building quite a lot of armor. And uh, farm wise, the uh, Lyra is actually leading by 30 farm. Uh, that's actually quite surprising to me because I feel like Lyra is uh, a hero that is harder to farm, especially in lane. Especially mm. in the early game, because there's not enough attack speed. Mm. Oh, and, uh, and the Finn really built into a Storm Crown. Oh, Finn just got caught in that very dangerous position. Oh, they be able to survive. The person from Glaive is just too scary. Oh my god, this Alpha should start to run away. time they are they never see a timer you can see that while well, they are taking a gold mine the kraken just alert i mean kraken just on no unleash <laughs> well it looks fine on my side i don't know why they say rip stream though yeah i'm i'm gonna just uh i don't think they'll be here for the first match i'm gonna just sort out my stream first Anyway, there's a boss of caught pulling in Lyra there. Okay, he's really going into the box there. Yeah, they are always diving for the box. The box needs to be killed, not the AOE damage of the series. Well, seems like they will be able to pick up this alpha. Will they be also be able to pick up this? Yep, so they need to pick up the case. Oh, the last, last fountain was used. Just to prevent. I don't know what this fountain was used. Now you can see Lyra in the lane, kind of disturbing them so that they will not go in the crack of contact. And the Kraken's on So far we can see Alpha is the only one with the infusion and Lyra just got her infusion too. Yeah, currently uh, Element C has 3 turrets left. Not sure where Frost Fury is going. against this character though. Well, they need to be careful of the Mr. Spartan after them. Oh, nice! Fox of it. And uh... Oh, Termination Total Power was very timely even before he died. He managed to get a bit of that. But Vox was a bit out of position and managed to get picked up over there. Oh my god, will Alpha survive? Okay, Alpha is dead. Now is the battle of the Roma. Yeah, but the Kraken is and... still going towards the crystal. The yep. Taurus, I mean. <coughs> yep, and um. Oh. Okay. Let's see, he's left with one turret. 
Yeah. One Kraken for two towers. In terms of goal wise, he's kind of in favor of Eli uh, Inferno, but in terms of objective wise, uh, he's in favor of Outlaw's Imperial. Okay. Currently, it's 18 minutes and 30 seconds into the game. Currently, KD is 16 is to 11 in favor of Outlaw Imperial and a 3k going to play. Now we can see a 5 5 uh, broken in the jungle. And as usual, they are aiming for the box, and the whole team is trying to rescue the box. Mm. Seems like Finn will be sacrificed over there, and box will still go down. Oh my god, and they managed to burst down. Yeah, Vox tried to kite back very hard there. But uh, with the afterburn and Mercedes Pursuit, Imperials were able to just catch him out very uh, easily. They're going for a third yep. here and they're going to end the game. Seems like this will be a JJ. Hmm. Yeah, they're going to bring Crystal now. And. <laughs> you can see that. This game go push to Outlaws Imperial. Yeah, this game will go to Outlaws Imperial. Outlaws Imperial will be moving on to the round of 16. Yep. And it's a GG though for both sides. Yeah. So let me get the overlay. So guys, um, there will be no BR for now because I want to go and fix the stream. I'm not sure what happened with Mob Crush or is it the internet, I'm going to find out soon. And we will return at 9pm for the next match. Uh, the 9pm match will be between Jaguar and Dominicence. And uh, we will see and later. The winner for the 9pm match, the winner for the 9pm match will be the one versus Seeing Outlaw Imperial in round of 16. Yep. So uh, we're gonna go now and take a break while I fix the stream a little bit. And we'll come back at 9 pm for the next match. So uh, see you guys later. Bye bye.